What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Rage. Now, first things first, if you haven't seen my previous episode, it was my thousand subscribers special and I've done a giveaway for that and I actually got one of these dash cams in the giveaway as well. So uh, not only would the link for that video be up here somewhere, uh, I'll put the link for the competition down below. You've still got time. Uh, I'm running the competition for a couple of months. Uh, I've already got nearly a couple of hundred people already entered into the competition. So don't don't miss that. Like I said, you're going to get one of these dash cams that I'm about to do a review on now uh, for free, along with a few other bits and bobs. There's a whole tech pack there. But without further ado, today we've got the Old Shark dash cam. This is a 1080p dash cam by Old Shark. They were kind enough to send a few of these, uh, obviously a couple to give out to you guys as well. So thanks very much to those guys. But without further ado, uh, let's get into it and see what it's all about. All right, so here is everything out of the box. And on first impressions, I'm really shocked as to um, the sort of accessories that you get along with this. But we'll start with the, the main uh, thing, obviously, which is the camera itself. Now, it's quite a good looking camera, actually. The lens looks like it sort of slightly protrudes out, but it's not too invasive. Obviously, you've got some uh, menu buttons on either side as well as um, one on the top there as well. And uh, obviously your connections there. So you've got a, a micro uh, HDMI there as well as your um, micro uh, USB input there for the power. Um, on the rear, you've got a reset button and a mic button. Don't know if you can see that up there, you can just about see it. And obviously on the rear, which uh, the side that you're gonna see, the main PS2 resistance is the screen. It actually looks massive, pretty much takes up the whole rear of the um, of the device itself there. So alongside that, you get your pretty standard things like your suction cup, which uh, feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel too bad at all. I'm not a fan of this connection on the end here, which goes into the top of the dash cam. I'd rather it had some sort of click mount, but you know, uh, I can bypass that. And um, I, have, I have been using one of these for a couple of weeks now, so I, I know what it's like and it's okay. As long as you tighten it down properly, it's not too bad at all. Uh, another standard thing is obviously the cable uh, to plug it into the car. Uh, these come in sort of two, three meters. There's plenty of length on this thing uh, to get it anywhere in your car. Even if you've got a, a big sort of minivan or something, you'll get it from one side to the other. No drama whatsoever. Um, you also get a separate USB cable, so you could plug it into charge elsewhere or into your computer uh, and everything else. Um, you get your user guide, which is really good actually. Uh, all fully English as well, so you can completely understand it. And a bit of a uh, happy or not happy feedback kind of thing if you want um, any sort of support. And um, I, I can tell you now that Old Shark are really good with their support and they'll get back to you uh, pretty quickly with some sort of resolution. Now the things I didn't expect are this USB stick here. So what you do is you put your the micro SD that's inside your camera into the end of this USB stick here and you plug it straight into the computer. So absolutely amazing, no need for your own adapters or anything else. It comes with one already, I've not seen that on the dash cam before personally. And these little guys, uh, just basically runners for your cable. So you can place them alongside the side of the car and then just run the cable run the cable through them and it will grip onto it like so. Really, really neat uh, sort of add on there. And I'm going to use those, I'm going to take those out in a bit actually uh, and stick them all along the car. It, it makes it a lot easier than um, pulling half your interior apart to try and squeeze the cable behind. And then you've got resolution, cycle record, so you can select what what duration you want each recording to be. So you've got three, five, ten minutes. You can choose ten minutes, change that. Don't know what that is. You can change exposure, motion detection as well. Turn that on. So motion detection is when you turn the unit off. Um, it will basically, it's, it's sort of like a parking thing. So if somebody walks past the car, when the unit is switched off, it will detect the motion and it will start recording automatically for you. Uh, and this is one of the, the main reasons why I wanted uh, to have a look at this because my Transcend One doesn't offer this feature and it's over a hundred pound for the Transcend One. This costs half as much, um, you know, and seems to have more features 
uh, as well. So audio, audio you can turn on or off. Timestamp, yes. Uh, yeah, keep it on. Gravity sensing, you can sense different different settings there. So medium is fine for me. Uh, and yeah, back to the beginning. All right, so there's the old shark dash cam. Pretty good bit of kit. All the specs are up there. Some features are not on par with some of the higher brands, you know, like Transcend, Nextbase, um, and, and a few others. But at the end of the day, it's all about that picture quality. When you have an accident, you need to be able to rely on that picture quality to be able to give you feedback on what's going on. And it really does perform. You know, it's quick, it's responsive. Pictures amazing and let's face it, it's half the cost of some of these others that are on the market. So I'm actually going to be replacing my Transcend one with the old Shark dash cam. Uh, really enjoyed it and it has, you know, it's done, it's ticked all the boxes basically. You can't really go wrong. If you want to get your hands on one of these guys for free, well, alongside some other stuff, like I said, check out my previous video and the competition that is currently running below for the Tech Rage giveaway and just complete everything on the list, fill it out. The more you do, the more entries you get into the competition. And like I said, you get one of these absolutely free, international, doesn't matter where you are, this will be yours. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys on the next one.